Welcome back. It's MLB Tonight, presented by Fisher Investments. College baseball getting underway. And by the way, there are a number of former Major League veterans, good players, who are now coaching in college baseball, including uh, Troy Tulowitzki just off the field. He's an assistant coach at Texas. Lance Berkman, who had a tremendous career, decent Hall of Fame candidate, is head coach at Houston Baptist. Darren Erstad, Troy Percival, Tim Hudson. Uh, Percival's a head coach. So is Frank Catalanato, now at Hofstra University, 14 years in the major leagues. Hit 330 in 2001, 291 for his career. Yeah, I'm using batting average. Frank Catalanato uh, getting ready to start his season this week joins us now on MLB Tonight. Frank, it's Brian Kenny. Uh, always a pleasure to speak with you. Thanks for having me, Brian. Frank, so what? give us an idea. How close to normal do you think this semester and college season will be, the way things look right now? The way thing look, things look right now, I think um, uh, it's going to be normal, uh, as normal as possible. Uh, you know, everything seems to be changing here in the last few weeks, last few months, and uh, we're looking forward to a, a normal season. Uh, it's been difficult the last few years for everybody, clearly, and I can't imagine what it's like in college sports. I know including you were at New York Tech, brought them to a D2 World Series, and then when they went away, they said they were going away for two years. Tell us about that. I, that had to be devastating. It was terrible because, uh, you know, myself and my staff, we, we made some great strides there uh, and, and took the team to the College World Series. And two weeks before... The, the season or, or the school year was about to start. They told us that they were canceling all athletics. So we had to uh, try to place all those those kids on the team at, at different schools. And, you know, it was terrible. I felt really bad for those guys. And, uh, you know, myself and my staff, we, we really enjoyed coaching. And, and we were hoping uh, that another opportunity would, would arise. And, and luckily, uh, I, I did get the opportunity here at Hofstra. Uh, that, that, that's great for you, and I hope the kids landed. It's been difficult for everybody. What, what's been the biggest challenge that you've seen in college athletics and college baseball specifically that you've seen as far as player development and trying to play full seasons during all of this? Well, th the biggest thing for me in college is um, everything other than baseball, right? So I, I got um, hired as a college coach at New York Tech, and, and it took a while before I was like, Okay, when do I get to coach? Because you got to understand, these guys are here to play, uh, are here to go to school, and schooling is the most important thing. That's number one. And uh, so, you know, doing the baseball stuff, getting on the field, that's the fun stuff. That's the easy stuff. But I, I understand, and, and my staff understands that um, the other stuff comes first, right? So we have to make sure that we're we're, we're getting the kids, uh, you know, through the schooling, uh, talking to different professors. Uh, and, you know, the, the uh, community service, stuff like that. There's a lot of things, a lot of meetings that go on. Uh, but uh, as far as the baseball, like I said, that that's the fun part. But, uh, you know, it, there's other things that have to be done. Right. And, right. As long as you're playing games, though, uh, thankfully. Now, you're playing Houston Baptist this week. And as we just showed on that graphic, Lance Berkman is the head coach there. Are you in touch with Lance a lot or do you speak to him or is that how this happened? No, I, uh, I'm not in touch with Lance. You know, I know him uh, from playing against him, um, uh, you know, in the major leagues for a while and, and, and a great guy and uh, a great baseball guy. But, uh, you know, it was just kind of dumb luck. You know, when I got here, it was on the schedule already. And uh, when I found out that, that Lance was uh, the coach, it was, it was pretty ironic. But, you know, it's going uh, to be tough because he's a good He's a good baseball guy. He knows how to, how to, you know, how the game is supposed to be played, and I'm sure these guys are going to play very hard for him. Why don't we see more ex-major leaguers coach in colleges? We had a list there, and it's a bunch of good players, but it doesn't seem like there's a ton. What, what, what's the challenge, do you think, uh, Frank, uh, as far as trying to do that? I, I think you're going to start seeing more and more guys, and, and the reason I think that is because um, – you know, the pro game has changed so much with the launch angle and the analytics. And, um, you know, some of the guys of the, that played when I played, it, it was more it's more of an old school approach. Um, you know, we, we I liked the game the way it was played when I was growing up and when I was playing the, the bunting, the hit and run, uh, get them over, stuff like that. Uh, whereas now I have a lot of friends, a lot of ex teammates that are coaching professional baseball. And they don't really like it that much because they're being told what to do. And it's not the way that they played the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're being told about, you know, hey, 
we're going to rely on the analytics. We're going to rely on launch angle. And uh, so I think a lot of guys are disenchanted with that and may start to move over uh, to the college game. I, I, yeah, I think the game should be like, I think it is, you're right, it's, it, it's morphing together. And for the record, I did not mean to say Lance a lot. When I said Lance Berg, when do you see Lance a lot? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Frank, Frank, best of luck. I know a sunny weather uh, where you're headed. Uh, you go to Houston, enjoy it, and uh, love to speak to you at some point during the season. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Brian.